Merry Meet YouTubers. Um, hope it's recording. This is Belinda Reedy, the Witch in Love, and today I'm gonna bring in a, a spell or a more a ritual that you can do to rid yourself of a negative person, ne of an enemy, or rid yourself of negative um, influ uh, negative feelings as if anger or depression or things of that nature. Um, unhealthy habits, all of that uh, can be done with this spell here. So um, you don't need very many ingredients. You need a little jar. Now I'm using this jar here where I, um, it's um, a candle jar where of course a black wax candle has been burned down. So I'm going to take advantage of the black in the candle for the negativity to remove negativity. As we all know, negative to remove negativity, you use black candles because it throws it off. It, it throws it away from you. You can also use black for other rituals, which are more of a black nature, but that's a whole other story. Now, you're also going to need graveyard dirt. If you don't have graveyard dirt, no problem. If you feel uncomfortable using graveyard dirt, don't use it. So, like, um, if you're going to be practicing magic or doing any kind of ritual, if you're afraid of it or if you doubt it or you really don't believe it, don't do it because it's not going to work. You can always twerk it to your liking. You can use church dirt. Because if you feel a very positive feeling from church, use church dirt. I'm using graveyard dirt because I use it in negative spells and I use it for protection spells and in many other other ways for graveyard dirt. Now, I'm going to be using the bay leaf. Bay leaves are known to be the wishing leaf where it said to write your wish or your so desired thing. Burn it and save the ashes near you till you get what you want. It can also be used in negative spell work. You can write your enemy's name on there, and you can prick it nine times with a needle, freeze it, and throw it in the freezer. I, of course, put some water in it and throw it in the freezer. And I would say use a plastic jar or a plastic zippy, Ziploc bag. Do not use glass because glass will explode on you in the freezer. That's another way of doing this. Today's theme is going to involve spider webs so if you come to my house it's pretty much neat but i have spider webs in various areas of my home and the reason i have them for purposes of this so today we're going to be using the spider web now when you collect your spider web since we're removing negativity we're going to work on removing a negative uh feeling okay or a negative person around our lives our enemy Whatever you want to use. So when you collect your, your spider web, I want you to use an uh, anti-clockwise motion. All right? Don't go clockwise. Clockwise will bring in. You want to go anti-clockwise. Everything back. So here we go. You're not going to see my face. You don't need to see my face. You all know me. And I'm going to set you up. Hopefully you don't fall over. And we're going to get on with the spell. See if I can prop you up right here. Hopefully you don't fall down. So I'm going to take my little jar here. I have already like in, um, cleansed it out. I'm going to do it once again. I'm going to put it over my smoke that I have here. Now, for the incense, what would I use to put on there to, um, to burn at this moment? It would probably be tobacco or sage, and I trap it in there. And this whole time, while you're doing your ritual, I want you to be thinking of, of the person you want to remove of your life, or the situation or the negative feeling you want to get rid of, okay? You also need a lighter. I forgot to mention here, a lighter or matches. I prefer matches, but I'm out of matches right now. So I'm going to take a black marker. I like using Sharpies because um, they're so much easier to work with, to write on. I'm going to write on here, enemy. If you don't know the person's name, you put enemy. I'm also, ugh, I'm also going to write. Let me get a good leaf. Anger. Because I don't want that in my home. I'm going to write depression. Okay, and uh, whatever else you want to write, you can write there. Yeah, you can take that. Anything that you need to get rid of in your life. 
So we have already collected our our incense smoke in here. Now I'm putting my intention in here. I want this this bottle we're gonna get rid of once we've done this ritual. I would say do this ritual on a whining moon, on a black moon to get rid of. Right now the moon is waxing at this present moment, but I, I was um really influenced into doing this this video for you guys for a few days and I'm just gonna go ahead and show it to you guys to do. So once we have all this written down here, we're gonna open up our jar. And I can see the smoke just leaving, but it's okay because it's already the intention has already been placed in. Now I suggest they use great caution when doing this, so make sure you put a silver bowl around you. What we're going to do is we're going to burn the situations or the name of the people and drop it in there. Situation or the name of the person and drop it in there. Please use great caution. This is not always use great caution when using fire. Once again, situation or person and oops make sure it burns all the way at least all the words and drop it in there now, I've been doing this for a while so um, if you're new at this use tweezers or something like that I'm going to now place my web in there and the reason I'm using a spider web is because a spider traps remember a spiders spider webs um, their web is sticky so they trap so we're trapping all of that negativity in there. And on the top of that, I'm going to use a sprinkle of my graveyard dirt. Remember when you use product, you don't have to use a whole shitload of stuff. It's not um, the amount you use, it's the intention you do, you do it with. Now this jar, once I enchant it, and once I say the words, that I want to say to get rid of the person, to get rid of the negativity, anything or anyone whom comes across and and tries to cross my family, my children, my four children, my husband or myself, they will be trapped in here. It'll be dealt with. I'm putting my attention into that. Once that is done, I'll take it and I'm gonna go throw it into running water, a lake. If you don't have that, bury it on a on a dead. Um, tree trunk, um, cemetery, somewhere where it could just be buried and forgotten. Once you do this, forget it, and this would help. Now remember that if you're working with getting rid of negative situations, you need to do your part as well. I always say in every video, you can't just make and wave a magic wand and expect things to magically happen. Sometimes you need to do it over and over again until you achieve what you want. And you got to put your part into it. If you're in a negative situation, figure out that it's always going to be negative until you remove yourself from that situation. If you're doing something negative. So do your part um, in that so that it helps. And every month that you or every time you do this it may take more than one time to do not only this but any other spell or ritual love or prosperity sometimes it takes like that and sometimes it takes a while especially when it comes to do with um working somebody's train of thought like for love spells and things like that it takes a while sometimes for that kind of spell to to work because you're working with that person's mind and their their choice so don't expect to light a candle and if it doesn't work you know you throw it you know whatever it's not working you got to keep doing it and you got to know that it's going to work and remember if it's not for your always when you do your spell always have in your mind if it's not for the greater good of you then don't do it it won't work because it's not good for you I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope that it helps you. Please follow me on Facebook, under Belinda Reedy. You can also find me on To Love a Witch, my group. And please like and subscribe to this video. I love you guys. If you have questions or if you have any ideas that you wish to put on there, please do. I love always learning from everybody. Many blessings. Bye.